Good morning, guys. Welcome to day two of the Jay Swanson Memorial Tournament here at Hard Times Billiards. See it brought to you by CSI. We bring you now to the first match of the day in progress between Bo Renningen and John Mora from the one loss side. Where we are now in the third or fourth inning of a pretty amazing safety battle. Okay. Rannigan actually is uh, he's my coach. He's been helping me recently. And he'll be commentating tomorrow during the uh, POV2 event coming up. Mora hangs it up. This is the first game. It'll be a race to six. And if you uh, will excuse me for a moment, I will be right back. Hey guys, uh, once again, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna leave you in the hands of Chris Robinson. I'm gonna find somebody else to come join him. I have to I have to go back upstairs and look decent. <laughs> so, um, hey Chris, how's it going? Pretty good. How about you? Good. Did you get some sleep? Yeah. And uh, you're waiting for your first match. Yeah. I have about an hour to kill. Oh, great. Okay, good. That's well, that's nice. You don't have to like <laughs> rush into things like I'm doing right now. Yeah, I can still wake up. <laughs> um, oh, do you know Bo running in? I know he played Jerry a few times at uh, Sticks Billiards, but other than that, I haven't really met him. I know he's good though. Great player, and he's been coaching me recently, and uh, he'll be. He'll be, um,. He'll be our commentator tomorrow for my uh, match with Lee Brett. And, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so, you know. Seems like a nice guy. This is a pleasant surprise to wake up to, actually. 
Yeah. That Bo is playing John Mora. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He wasn't. He wasn't happy uh, yesterday because he lost his uh, first match. Oh no, I, I saw him. Man. He didn't look like he was hitting him that well. Yeah. So this is the first game, and it's already been. Uh, it's about twelve minutes. So Chris. <laughs> Do you mind if I find a, a friend to come join you? No, sure, that's fine. I really appreciate it. I just have to, you know. It's all good. Okay. Oh. oh. It's tough. You can't even touch a rail on this table. It's uh, it's hard. It's hard when you're you when you're cutting those balls down the rail. Hello. Oh, Ashi. <laughs> I don't. I'm like. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, man, Ashi Fockler has just uh, shown up today. And I actually have him to thank for... Uh, you have him to thank for my appearance this morning. <laughs> <laughs> He hit that ball good. What's going on? I had a cup of coffee. And he should be out here. All right, I'll be back. And he takes the lead one nothing. John Moore to break here. He's leading one nothing. In race to seven. He gets this cue ball good. I don't like this seat. From, from my seat, you can't, you can't see the table. <laughs> What's the, what's, the, what's the score here, Chris? It's 1 0. Moore is in the lead. And a race is 7. I guess he had a pretty tough match last night against Carlos. Yeah. Who won that, by the way? Carlos. He won? Yeah. This is what I was told, anyway. I, I didn't get to see the entire match. Car Carlo doesn't really miss. <laughs> no. And when he does, it's usually a safety. John was playing pretty good last night, though. That's, that speed was perfect right there. Yeah, almost, almost perfect. If you could see it, he could probably just thin it and come right back to where the cue ball is now. You want me to scoot over so you can scoot over? I just can't see the table. You're fine. You're fine. Let's see what he does here. I like going two rails and kicking at it. 
if you can see the left side, you, you could actually go two rows, three rows behind the 78, almost where he is now. Yeah, but I don't think you can see this. If you can't see that side. He might have to go two rails and kick at it. Yeah, that's that's a tough shot. No, you can see it. Oh, he can dev. He he can see the whole thing. Nice oh, he made nice it. Bank. Nice it's bank. A very nice bank. I think you might. He, I think you might have to uh, follow it down and bump into the six here. It might go below the six. He's going to stay above it, I think. That's three and seven eighths pockets for you right there. <laughs> that it is. That it is. John's stroke is so just fluid. It's not, there's no movement at all in it. Just his back arm and his bridge. You have any idea how many players are left, Chris? How many players what? How many players are left? I think it was 48 when I, they cut it off at 48 last night. This, they, is, this is the first round this morning? Yeah. So I play in about an hour, hour and a half. So everybody playing now is actually on the loser side, one loss side. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, that ball good. You know, I got a little short here, but he's fine. Shouldn't have any problems. Got a little more angle anyway, I think, but it yeah. should be good. He's either gonna slow roll this or he's gonna come across across the table and come back. I think I would go across and come back. Just like that. It's good. This is good out by John Mora there. What, what kind of cue are you playing with? I play with a um, a local cue maker's cue, a Randy Kramer cue. Um, he's kind of new to cue. He, I was the first one. I was one of the first ones that he made. He made for me. It's, it's it, he makes nice cues, but um, he hasn't. He's just starting really, so he's. You know, I play with a, uh, a cue maker's cue, Dave Witzel. In, oh, okay. Uh, San Diego. He's been making cues like for 40 years. Wow. Uh, I've played a lot of with, experience. Yeah, 
I've, I've hit with like 30 of his cues, and every one I hit was just was so solid. It's amazing. He's a very talented cue maker. Yeah, sounds like it. Yeah, my cue is, it's better than a, a twelve hundred dollar Viking I had. So, John Mora here leading 2 nothing, and it's his break. Breaks off there, nothing down. And th th this might be a problem, Rat, because there's a bunch of balls that are tied up. See what he does here. He might be trying to thin the one and come behind the six five. Or just go behind the four seven. I want to give a shout out to uh, Tony Nine Toes and the Ventura Boys at uh, Sticks Billiards. I hope they're watching. I just got a text from uh, Tony Pack saying to shout him out. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> desperate. He wants to be known. <laughs> and I'm probably going to get another text from him saying something that I can't repeat. Yeah, Mora, this is a uh, difficult out if the four doesn't pass. He just plays it in the same pocket. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where they are. He'll still make them. <laughs> Well, he really doesn't have too much trouble from here. It's just deciding where to play that six ball. Is he going to draw out for it, or is he just going to play it up in the... He's going to play it up in the top corner. Just, just play it naturally? Yeah. He'll follow the five up and follow it back down. That'll give him shape for the seven. Yeah. I think he might try to draw this, though. With the angle he has now, he went. Yeah, he went. I think he's still yeah, he, following. He, he's following it. Oh, he stunned it. Now he's perfect. All he has to do is make this in the S position. That's a good position to get it down here for the eight. Draw. Go two rails. I think. I got straight in here. 
I mean, look on his face, it looks like he got straight in. Yeah, it looks pretty straight. I just draw it back a little bit for the side. Those side pockets are awful tight. All those pockets are tight. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But if you have any angle on the side, it's even tighter. Yeah. He's playing in the corner, I think. This is a tough shot. John makes Swish. it look easy though. <laughs> yes, he does. So he's up 3 nothing here. His break. Race to seven. Ernesto's playing on a table. A couple of tables down. It looks like he's doing pretty good. I've only seen him rocking, so. Yeah. It's usually a good sign in a rock your own tournament. <laughs> yeah. And Sal's over there on table two. So I think he might be struggling a little bit. Not 100% sure, though. Breaking off here. It's a dry break. Nothing went in. Let's see if he decides to cut this in or if he plays safe. It looks cuttable if you just yeah. go go back, go back and forth on the rails. Come back down for the two. It's a touchy shot though. I'd rather just hit, leave the cue ball right where the one ball is and have the one ball go down to the end rail. There's a lot of blockers down there. Well, you go one, two rails down to the, hit it, make it, hit it by the nine. Yeah, by the nine. I think that's what he's doing. The eight. Those cluster of balls. That's exactly what he did. Except he's going to leave a shot, I think. He has a rail first on this. That's a very makeable real first. Yes, it is. Shape's not easy, though. Let's see what he does. Yeah, that's the problem. Can he can he can hit. he even go one reel? Hit it with No, I don't think he can. I think he's going two. Maybe not. Yeah, he went one more. Yep. I didn't think yeah, he had a lot of left on that. Get it. Cross back. That was a good hit from where he was.
Victor Ignacio from San Diego is uh, down there on table four. I just saw him break. That's a good sign. Yes. For him? Yeah, he, he had to at least win one. <laughs> <laughs> is he playing? I have no idea. Is that Arturo? No. I don't know who he's playing. Looks like Ernesto's match is done, and from the number of times I saw him rack, I assume he won. Yeah, I assume that too. I don't know what happened to Oscar. I haven't seen him. He 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 had a uh, I don't know. I haven't really seen him today. I haven't seen him today, at least. I didn't see him last night either. I don't know if he maybe he got knocked out match or something came up and he had to leave or but his dad's still here. Well, he he had a he had a pretty tough draw though. I remember I I remember him playing some pretty uh I think he played um what's his name? Sponsored by Mez. He has really long hair. Howard or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, he's he's just a really good player. He beat Max Everly. Oh, he did? Yeah. Max is definitely a good player. Definitely. He has such great fundamentals. He does. So does uh, John Mora. Yeah. Oh, he didn't want to hit that ball. I'm not sure if he can see the full ball or not. I'm not either. I don't think you can. You can definitely see part of it. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Right. Thank you. You guys need anything? Uh, John. Dollars? A big sack of hundies. Yeah. I'm sure Chris would take a hundred or two. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you couldn't see it. That is that one of the one pocket shots that you taught him? I I actually didn't see it, but he uh, he. I'm he, a I'm a terrible one pocket player. Oh. You're just saying that. <laughs> there should be a chat room open. Is there a chat room right here? Okay. Who's talking to us? You want to switch seats? This is mine. Do you, you want to sit here? Yeah, sure. And there's sure. 280 people. Or we can just move the keyboard over here. Or? You can sit here. Oh, I'm, I'm we don't really here. need to interact with them. That, oh, okay. That, that happened. And this is for you, buddy. You should. Yep. Appreciate it. I'm gonna you still play, right? Yeah. Well, I'm out. I'm out of the tournament. But you still play? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna take care of you. Give you a couple of vouchers for the Kamui tips. Oh. The, I mean, the, I I don't use Kamui tips. Oh. <laughs> I do. I do. Uh, I use private tips. Uh, the password the, for the. PPV. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was Hunter Lambardo who I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, he he shoots great. He's he, oh, yeah. he doesn't miss. Well, he does, but <laughs> not as much as uh, a lot of people. I was talking to Daniel. I lost track of this game here. It is three nothing, and Bo's at the table with what well, seems like an out.
That was a good hit right there. I think he's got a little angle where he can come up above the sub. And then you there he's gonna just float down with the rail. Sorry. Okay. And you just follow it down with the rail. That's what it looks like he's doing. Yes, this is Bo Renegan playing. I think he's playing he's playing for the bank here. Wow. I didn't like that. <laughs> he hit that ball good. Might have came a little, a little short though. This is, a, this, is a, this is a tough shot. That was a good shot, though. <laughs> My drinking league has a bowling problem. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> that was a very tough out by uh, Bo Renigan there. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, yes, the score is 3 1 more. He breaks with his playing cue. You don't see that as much anymore. No, but back in the day when as I was growing up, when I was your age. You, you did everything with your playing cue. Exactly. You broke, you jumped, you... People didn't jump like them, but... Earl did, right? I'm not sure if Earl did way back then or not. He hooked himself. He hooked himself here. Right behind the. Three ball. Looks like he can see part of it the way he's. I'm going to leave it right down the four. Nice save. It's 
very good shot. I'd like to give a shout out to Pullaholic Apparel. They have really nice shirts and clothing. It's really comfortable stuff. It's Pullaholic Apparel. I'm just gonna go one rail with this. Put a lot of left on it. Kind of mess off the rail a little bit. But hey, what do I know? You're playing pretty well this time. You're, you're still on the no loss side. This, yeah, I gotta. To play, to play day two here. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna play Tang my uh, next match. You're playing Tang, huh? Yeah. I think it would be a good match. Should be. Pretty good layout. There's not too many problems here for John. I don't see any major problems. There's a big area you can be in for the position on the five, so. I think he's either going to draw it out or just use high left and go for it. I think I, I draw it though. He's going to follow, I believe. He might go behind the six, six yeah. yeah. Oh, he did though. He drew it. Yeah. Get that good. If you can shoot it in the in the corner, I don't think it passes. No, it, it definitely doesn't pass. He came up a little short. I think he was playing gonna shoot, the side. You're gonna shoot a combo? That's that's pretty risky. Well, I think he's gonna try to play some kind of safe here. Yeah, smartest decision. That was good. That was a good hit. Oh my god. Oh, I think you left some ball though. Yeah. I can't tell. He can almost see the entire ball. Interesting to see what it does here. I don't know if he can make it, and the safety's not very easy. Yeah. You can see the whole ball. <laughs> we have different angles from up here. Yeah. <laughs> to say the least. Shouldn't be three two here in a minute.
commentating here is uh, Dave Martineau and Chris Robinson. What pool room do you play in? I play out of uh, on Q Billiards in San Diego, California. Okay. Sunny San Diego. I know you play, you're, you're from Ventura. Yep. Um, is there a room in Ventura now? Yeah, it's been in there for about 20 years. Um, we're off duty, I guess. I don't know if we're, we're still on or... Can you hear us? Wait, it doesn't matter because we can't see. We can't see. <laughs> Where's Daniel? Hey, where's Daniel? Uh, I'll go see if I can't find him. You, you want some... You want something to drink? No, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. Um, Thank you. Though. I'm going to get a cup of coffee. I gave you a shout out. But, uh, I shut off. So. Something. It's what? Johnny. Alright, well I can't see the TV or the monitor, so I'm just going to keep commentating like I'm, um, like I'm delusional. Alright, Bo here with a uh, good break, but he didn't get any luck on the one ball. He's pushing out, so it's uh, more as option either let him shoot it or he's going to shoot it. It's still going. Well, how did you find out? Uh, someone watching told me. On text? Oh, cool. Alright, so um, he broke and uh, he pushed out and now it's, uh, looks like Johnny's shooting. I think he's gonna run into the six after he pockets the one on the side. See if he does it. Yep, that's exactly how I pictured it. Oh, he got lucky there. He got a good roll. He didn't leave it right in front of the pocket. Gonna stick it right there. Hit that too hard. Looks like the ball goes in the corner. Just like it does. Shape should be almost automatic. I just float all this in almost. Just kind of, if they don't make it, just put it right behind the 8-6.
waiting for the player. Hold on. Waiting for the break. <laughs> he was there for a while. Yeah. Okay. You just won't see the screen, so it's fine. It's all good? Yeah. No, we're fine. Yeah. Sorry if we don't respond to your chats, we can't see them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, that screen went blank and we can't find Daniel right now. At least the stream's still going. That's the important thing. Yes, it is. I think he overcooked this a little bit. Yeah. Oh, or he could just, or he could just missed it entirely and get great position. You know, it's, I didn't see that point. Well, from here, the angle to me looks like he had to run into the eight, apparently. Yeah, the angle from up here looks exactly like that. That was a good shot. Races today are races to seven, correct? That is correct. Even on the losers, it's race seven. I think races seven are perfect length. You know, they're not too long, but they're not too short. Yeah. Like in a race to four, someone can get lucky a few times, and that could mean that the whole match. You know, you know I was down in one match last night, five to two, going to six. And fortunately, I got back and actually won that match. Were you playing on a table five down there? Uh, no, that match, uh, I actually won that match quite handily, but the, the one I came back for were on the big pockets on the other side of the building. Oh, I don't like those tables. Yeah, I didn't either. Tight pockets are better. Oh, yeah. The cloth over here on this side of the room is much better than over there. They take care of those more. They take care of these ones more. They have so many ball bangers that lay on the other side. Yeah, they do. Shouldn't be out here. <laughs> and now it's four to two.
There's Oscar. Yeah, there's Oscar hitting balls on table nine. Nine, yeah. First time I've seen him in a while. So John takes the lead 4 2. Race 7. This year they didn't use the magic rack in this tournament. They just used a standard rack. Yeah, I don't. I don't really like that. I like the magic rack. The magic rack's really good, but some players use it to their advantage. Yes. <laughs> they just soft break. Dennis Arcoyo won this tournament like that last year just because he was soft breaking and having a shot on the one ball every time. You know? right. There wasn't any chance to it. He would just get the same pattern almost every time. <laughs> but he still had to run out. That's that's he's an amazing player. Yes, he is. The other side, they had a, like a pinky orange rack that was plastic. Yeah. That thing was awful. <laughs> I think they should uh, put all diamonds on this side, that and then nice. and then put these tables on the other side. That would be nice. If they brought in. These are really nice gold crowns, though. Yeah. Wonder if they just make the other ones better. <laughs> yeah. The problem with the other side is they just the ball bangers just tear them up. That's the problem. Yeah. I'm sure those are the people that keep the business in business. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm sure there's more ball bangers than there are serious players, you know. And that's and that is uh, why it's not as big. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. One reason. Like I was watching curling in the Olympics, uh -huh. and I was like, "How is pool not as as popular as this?" Is that yeah? It's much more exciting. <laughs> that's just that's just personal belief, though. I'm on uh, I'm on table four, so you don't want to jump in? Do you want to jump in? All right, Chris. Well, guess. good luck, buddy. See ya. Play well. I'll try. So Chris is off to go play his first match of the day on table four. And sitting on the microphone is the guy with the accent, Ashi. I'm the photographer here and commentator. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. You just get in today? I did. I uh, actually had some work I had to do yesterday, so I wasn't able to come in yesterday. But the real good action, of course, is today. So, from a photography standpoint, it's better off to uh, be on day two. It also narrows the field for me. Field, uh, at least 192, yes, uh, that's yeah, what I heard. Uh, took, it, took it down to the 48 last night. Some people played till about 1 a.m. I guess. Uh, 
I finally lost uh, about a lot of my last night. So I mm. was out. This uh, last shot, notwithstanding, Mora is playing very well. He's consistent, he's focused. Bo seems to be catching a, uh, a speed right now, but he's struggling. It's four to two. Chris said he was going to table four, but table four actually still has a match going on. So um, I'm not sure. Tang Ho's table four. I think Chris is, well, maybe, I don't know. Tang is playing on table four right now, just uh, started. Maybe he, may, he might be practicing. That's table three. Day before has Victor Ignatia playing on. Oh, right and now. Artur Vera? Mm -hmm. Victor and Artur are still there. Okay. And I don't see Chris. Do you see him anywhere? Who? Chris. No. Oh, no? no I think he is playing team, so I, th oh. I think it's going to be table three, not four. Okay. Bo wants to stun this ball to get back to the eight. That is a table change, Tang Ho and Chris on table three. Table three. And they just announced that table change from table four to three. Oh, our screens came back up. Yes, uh, this is a loser side match. Uh, um, Tang, I think, is on the winner's side. I'm not sure. Yes, he is. But yes. the match we're watching here with oh, Mono yes. is a loser side yes. match. They're just starting now to call the first winner side matches of the day. And uh, Oscar will be playing on table nine, which is actually on the other side of the um, tournament room. So he won't be featured right now on this table. Plus, this match is still going on, so Oscar's match is about to start. What table is he playing on? Uh, all the way at the end. Oh, on table nine? Nine, I think, yeah. Okay. So he is on this side of the room, on the small pockets. But. In fact, I, uh, I heard him a little bit earlier. There were, somebody said, why aren't you hitting any balls? He says, I don't want to hit balls on the tables with the big pockets. I want, uh, I want to try and practice on the smaller pockets. Sticks the cue ball to the eight. <laughs> oh, the logo is in the middle of the stream. Uh, we apologize for the logo. Yeah, we're still hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, yeah. How about that? That should fix it. Aha! Uh -huh. Sorry about the logo. Welcome, guys. 
guys. We apologize for the technical difficulties. Ramin just uh, won another match. On the score just right get... now is 4 to 3, John Moore. And uh, on the next table up, Ramin just got on the board by winning one match. match sorry. Yes, it is 4 3 to Moore at this point. tried to take the eels away from Moa. Always looking at his options. Ideally, he'd like to shoot the one in and then free that three ball from the nine. Bo may be looking at another safety. It does. I think he's playing another safety. I think he's trying a three family. Yes. It seems like it. I don't know why he wouldn't try to run out. Well, that wasn't bad. Bo just told uh, John that he's on his second foul. We were wondering ourselves why he went for the three foul rather than uh, run out. Uh, gamble paid off. I don't think so jump cues are allowed, right? No, no jump, jump cues. Yeah, no jump cues. You, you can, can jump, jump with the, your playing cue, but it has to be a full cue jump. And the score now is 4-4 four, four after the, the three foul loss. Greg Harada is leading 6-1 of Ramin Bakhtiari on uh, the table next to us.
The run again just broke. Leaving Greg with a straight in on the one. can see the three pass. Now, yes. He has to try and avoid hitting the 5 4 to uh, John Mora. <laughs> 5 4 John Mora. Right in front of us, uh, Dennis Orcolio is uh, warming up on the table. Breaking. The uh, score right now is five to four, John Moore.
throw the ball back just a bit, get on the four, and float down to the five. Just a little shorter than he wanted to, but he'll be fine. John is not going to be happy with the angle that he left on the five. Is he thinking of the nine ball? It seems like it, right? A safety and the nine ball at the same time. Oh, he got lucky. is looking to mass in and come up to the center of the table to hit the seven. Hit the little harder. It's not one point there in the side, I think. Brandon Schaff is on the in the tournament room. He's still on the winner's side. Bo took the safer route, banking the eight, coming out for the nine, two rails probably. Thirsty? I'm gonna get a cup of coffee here in a minute. Okay. Thank Can you, you hand me those empty cups? Thank you. Thank you. The uh, eight seemed to have popped uh, off yeah, the yeah. rail, but he got really I lucky. Think, I think he got a bit more. I don't think John can make this ball. I no. Can't tell John can will see. probably opt to uh, play a safety. Sticking the 8 to the 9 at this point. John's face says it all. He is not happy with the role he was dealt. We'll try and spin it off the rail. Uh, in, oh, John gave him the game. That, the score is now 5-5. Five, five. Oh, 
Mr. Daniel Bush is in the house. He looks Daniel does such a great job on streaming. Absolutely. Most of it he provides for free. Just a great, uh, great man doing a great job for Paul. Just lucky with the last roll that two ball cleared the one. It is 5 5 now. So, in reality, it is a two race. Um, Greg Harada just beat Ramin Bakhtiari. Sorry. Greg Harada just beat uh, Ramin Bakhtiari 7-2. Uh, Dennis Orcolio is getting ready for his match. And Brandon Schuff is playing. You can break anywhere from behind the, the head string. It doesn't have to be from the side. Updating yeah. the score. Thank yeah. you. Bo opted for another safety. John is playing Bo Run again. Bo knows that uh, one of the only ways to beat John is to grind him down, and that's what he's doing. John came out to a stellar start, and then uh, Bo decided, well, I'm going to stop that roll, and he did. Once again, Moore is a little short on the angle that he wanted on that. He's not happy with himself. He's uh, walking around the table and mumbling. That was a nice shot. Yes, he uh, recovered from that pretty nicely. The question is, does he have enough angle to go and break the 4-8 at the bottom of the screen? This is a race to seven on the loser's side. Two hits on that eight and he still didn't clear the four. Very nice safety. He stuck the four behind the eight and left bow near a uh, If the four isn't frozen, Bo is going to try and uh, hit from behind with uh, English coming into the four from the back rail. Just like that. Just like that. The problem is, we left uh, more an easy save. Simply touch the floor of the rock table. Yes. 
Sun says the four balls frozen. Bo seems to be looking at uh, kicking the eight ball in. Hitting rail first. is looking to actually play a safe on the seven, adding it to the mix of the four and eight. He decided that the four and eight are not straight enough to do that. So he played another safety. Oh, that's awesome. John has ball in hand now. Huh? John may try to keep ball right by that eight. I don't think John wanted to hit the uh, six on the way up. Bo is looking at the two rail kick right now. Kicking the four, possibly making well, right it to the top on pocket. happy with the kick because if John attempts the four ball in the top right hand corner it leaves him on a bad angle on that six ball. He's going to try and thread it between the six and the seven, the cue ball. John just uh, slumped down in his chair. to bank it and Mora asked for a break. I'm gonna take a quick break to remind you the score is 5-5 at this point. During this break we're going to uh, take a look at the match starting to our left which is uh, Santos Sambahon Jr. racking the balls right now.
Well, Hoshi, I'm going to step out of here. Alrighty, I'll All see right. you in a bit. We'll talk to you later. Yes, sir. Everybody enjoy the, the rest of the whole time Swanee tournament. Right here on POV. Santos has this stunning break. Santos wants to make sure that he has the right angle on that three after making that two. Dennis Orcolio is in fact playing on... Uh, actually, no, he, uh, he was practicing a little bit earlier. At this moment, we can't. In a second, we're going to go back to uh, the John Mora and Bo Runnigan match. John Mora just uh, walked back into the uh, arena and is eyeing the four ball. Bo Runnigan just joined the arena. Good evening, Brian Gibbs. John hit that perfectly. Two rails up to the eight ball. There you go. All he has to do, draw back a bit. Good over things. Yes. <laughs> All yeah. right. Bang, crash, boom. Yes. <laughs> Not a lot of space in here. And there it is. Could you hand me that thing? There you go, sir. John is up. John six Moore five. wins a game, and it's, yeah, it's it, it, it was four zero, wasn't it? Yes, four zero, and. Bo killed him with kindness by uh, shooting safety after safety after safety. Um, Bo running and has a very strong uh, safety uh, game. In fact, Bo won on a three uh, foul. Oh, he did win. He did one one on he a did. three foul. Yes. Wow. On the last shot, although leaving um, John in the open, he, um, he scratched, Mora scratched on the, 
on the kick. Wow, nice. So that was a three foul, and that was one of those that got him on the board. Uh, Bo will also be joining us tomorrow uh, on the POV2 live stream at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. He'll be in the commentary booth with Jay Helfert for POV2, uh, the second installment of the POV Pool Action Series. This is a doubleheader match. We'll be starting tomorrow. With yours truly. Yes, I'll be playing Lee Brett, and then on day two, it'll be Dennis Hatch versus Carlo Beato playing 10 ball. It is a pay-per-view event. Please go to povpool.com to order. For those of you who don't know, Billiards Digest just named uh, Carlo Beato the most improved player this year. Most improved Most player improved player this year. Most improved player this year. And... Uh, That's pretty impressive, although it's not going to make it a lock for Carlo because no. Dennis is playing very well right now. He just took his uh, his team, the bonus ball team, uh, Atlanta Scorpions, to second place yes. for, the, for the season. So okay. he's been playing very, very strong as well. I've learned uh, never to underestimate uh, Dennis in a money match ever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the score right now is 6-5. Mora. 6-5 Mora. Mora's on the hill. Yes, uh, unlike the first day where it was a 7-6 double elimination event, the final players of today all raced to 7. And I'm not sure. I think the final match today will be either a race to 9 or 11. 11, I 11, think, but I'm not sure. Traditionally, I think the Swanee has been race to 11. Yes, traditionally it has been. And we haven't had the uh, next match assigned yet, so we're not sure yeah, who's coming sort of up Everything's here. kind of being assigned on the fly, and I want to applaud Marie Lim and Dave Hemma for their hard work. running the tournament as tournament director directors for the event and also I want to welcome you back Ashi it's well, nice you. to see you thank you I, I made the drive up from uh, San Diego I wish Very I could nice. have been yes I wish I could have been there yesterday, yesterday but yeah. I had work to do and simply couldn't get away but I also said you know it's uh, it's always better for me to come the second day as a photographer. Mm -hmm. I get a smaller field and I get a better feel for who's going to be in the finals. You'll be able to see the photos probably on AZ Billiards, maybe at, uh, in Billiards Digest Great. and a few other uh, locations. I'll make sure Daniel gets some of them too. So. Oh, that's lovely. Sure. I'm, uh, you know, we're just so lucky to have... Uh, to have you here. Thank you. I'm Meanwhile, happy to be here. look what's happening. And this is it. John has this just. This is it. John just beat Bo Renegan 7-5. Yeah. Break and run. And that was it. wow. You know, you can't do anything when you're nope. sitting in a chair. And nope. that's what John did. He made sure that Bo did not get a chance to come back to the table. Nice end game there, Bo. I mean, uh, nice end game there, John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We'll try and get uh, to you a tough who's match. next up on, the, on this table in just a sec. Yeah, actually, uh, I'm going to uh, do that now. But also okay. what I'll do is I'll toggle over to Santos. Please. In the meantime, Santos, by the way, is up one game. 